Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. We're here at Lowe's and I just want to show you why and how this little catch basin is so important for your French drain system. It's not a yard drain system, it's for your French drain system. And this little catch basin, 15 bucks, will save you thousands and thousands of dollars. So you can see there's lots of different kinds of catch basins and they range, you know, the prices go way up. 61 bucks for a 12 by 12, that's with a decorative grate, 55 for the regular, and even with a steel grate, 66. But this little catch basin right here is so well worth the $10 plus the $5 for the grate, so 15 bucks and it does exactly the same thing as these larger catch basins. They are so important and you know you can add as many as you want. They go into the low spot of your yard. They are not for access, they are to pick up immediate surface water runoff. So we're going to buy a case of them down here and then we're heading to the job site. Hey good morning Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at why that $15 catch basin will save you so much money if you use that with a French drain. Take a look at this problem and I think you'll understand. So we're out here just a few houses from the ocean and you can see this shed. And what you can see right away is how wet this stays. This just, when it rains hard, this just stays underwater. And they're concerned, even though that shed is up pretty high, they're concerned that during a hurricane or a northeaster is what we call them, that you know we'll get 20 inches of rain and of course that would get up to the floor of the shed. So what we wanna do is we wanna start this line with a catch basin and that will provide immediate surface water runoff so that as it rains hard, water will drop directly down into that catch basin and be carried away to where we're gonna discharge. So we're gonna run some, some French drain we're gonna use the easy flow because it works so good here in the sand. We're gonna come around and we're gonna tie into an existing sump basin. That's our discharge to daylight. Very straightforward, something you guys could easily do yourselves and save thousands of dollars. So you can see they've got one catch basin here, but it's actually still, this section over here is still actually a little bit lower than the catch basin. But take a look, you see that catch basin? There is no debris that gets down into this catch basin. It does not clog your system. It has a grate on the top and there's a basin. So there's a section down below that water stays, excuse me, that debris stays in the bottom and you just pull off the lid, the grate, reach in there or even use a garden hose and clean it out if you need to. This talk about catch basins not being needed on a French drain is truly crazy. So basically we're just cutting off some sod and I'm not that worried about the sand here and the grass when we clean up, it's gonna look great. Cut your sod off, make your trench, install your system and you're done. So you can see we got one guy digging. I'm gonna go ahead and start to install this because by the time I get this installed, he's gonna have this all dug clear back to the around the corner there. If you're doing it yourself, it's still gonna take just a few minutes to do this job. We've got a lot of roots from these palm trees. You see the palm trees? They put out tremendous amounts of roots, tremendous amounts of roots, because they seek water everywhere. Okay, you can see that groundwater, and what I'm gonna do is use a four and a half inch hole saw and drill a hole into our basin right here. So using that four and a half inch hole saw, simply drill a hole, and now we're ready to install the pipe. It's just but that again, quick. take a look at that groundwater. See how fast that's rising? Groundwater, it, it's really tremendous here in Florida. In other places in the country too. Sump pumps, best way to discharge water and to achieve proper grade and fall from your French drain. And contrary to what other people are telling you, you can run perforated pipe with a sock over top of it and it will work just fine. This will help keep the debris out of those holes, the slots, and it will allow drainage. It won't hurt anything. It's just going to help promote drainage. So again, great applications for sock around the perforated pipe. And don't be fooled by what these people are telling you. There are great applications for this and it works great. What it's going to allow us to do is grab a little bit of additional drainage as it comes into the sump basin. 
No debris is going to get through that fabric. It may slow down the water flow coming in, but that's not what we're trying to do. <laughs> We've got the easy flow and catch basins picking up this water. This is just a small section of pipe to connect from the French drain and the catch basin into the sump basin. So you can see we got one guy digging. I'm gonna go ahead and start to install this because by the time I get this installed, he's gonna have this all dug clear back to the around the corner there. If you're doing it yourself, it's still gonna take just a few minutes to do this job. We've got a lot of roots from these palm trees. You see the palm trees? They put out tremendous amounts of roots, tremendous amounts of roots, because they seek water everywhere. So using your hacksaw, we wanna cut a four inch slit, five inch slit. We're gonna squeeze this together so that it gets narrow. Then we're going to slide that into the sump basin and it will expand and snap in place and become so secure that you couldn't possibly pull it out. Okay, you can see I pulled that through and I can tighten this up. It's hard to do with one hand, but we'll get it in there and then I'll pull this open and it's totally secure inside of here. Okay, we've installed our pipe down into the sump basin. Remember, this is our discharge to daylight. You see, there's daylight. And the pump is going to lift this water up and it sends it all the way around to the front. And you can see how low we are back here. This is quite low. Again, the sock around the pipe, it works great, you guys. We're going to bring this around just a few feet. And we'll probably put a catch basin here and the section of easy flow as it runs back through the trench. You can see we're digging back through there. And look at the groundwater. We still need to go deeper, but look at that right away, groundwater. You know, we're still digging back there, but take a look. Can you hear and see that groundwater? See how it's already running through our pipe? It, this system is gonna work so good. And those little catch basins that I showed you from Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace, wherever you go to get them, $15 and they are gonna make such a difference. When it rains hard, that water is gonna drop directly into the basin and be carried through the system. It's not gonna lose or put debris down your system. That's such a bunch of baloney. When setting your catch basin, it's really simple. We wanna be just a half an inch or so below the existing grade so that water can drop into the catch basin. Pretty simple. Look at that groundwater. You'll also notice that I like to use a double outlet basin. Basically, we just use a good vinyl tape, close this off, and our line's gonna start here and run around to the sump basin. But they may wanna add more to the system. So simple. We can just come over here, remove the vinyl tape, and continue the trench. So plan ahead. You may want to add more to your system. And these little tips, they're, they're gold. They're golden tips. So I've got all the trucks out again and just got the crew, you know, half a crew here with me. He's got one guy, he's got his truck, got the other truck here. The other guys are out installing. We are working as fast as we can, so get on that schedule. Installing the NDS is so simple. Remember, what this is, is a contained French drain. And so it's all, everything's contained. It has styrofoam in there instead of gravel, but it's all contained. So simple to install. Snap it into your catch basin, get your proper depth, stretch it out, and you're done. I mean, it's that quick, you guys. This is a great product, especially here in Florida where it's in the sand. It works good in the clay, but in the sand, there's probably nothing better. So we've got one catch basin here. Next, we're gonna put another catch basin onto the end of the French drain. That's gonna allow even more surface water to drop into our system. And then we'll use the perforated pipe with the sock to connect to the sump basin. Perfect system. These catch basins, these little $15 basins, they are so well worth the money. And people that are designing these systems without some type of surface water collection, their systems work so slow, I can't imagine if I was a customer, I'd be calling them back the next day that it rained. So remember what a French drain's doing. It's collecting subsurface water. And 
we need, you can go deeper. You could go much deeper. We're down about 18, 20 inches, but you could go deeper. If you go deeper, it's gonna pull out more water from your yard. Things need to grow. For example, you see these philodendron? They need water at the root level about a foot deep. If you talk about crops out in a field, you know, the farm, corn, broccoli, whatever, they need water at, at, the, at about a foot deep. So the, you, want, you don't want to put those field tile or the French drain down so deep that things don't grow. And it's really important. Remember, a French drain, whether it's easy flow or gravel perforated pipe, it will pull water from about 15 feet on both sides of that pipe. It's gonna keep that dry. So if you had a really wet yard, for example, you could run different laterals. They need to be about 30 feet apart um, and that will be perfect. Putting four or five pipes in a trench does nothing except cost more money. You just need one drain tile, one French drain. Cutting through the sock with a good hacksaw Still a little bit tedious you got to cut that fabric but once you get it cut you'll get right through it just stretch it out cut it use your knife scissors whatever you got and then we'll hook this up and this is ready to backfill so remember what a French drain does it collects subsurface water a catch basin it collects immediate surface water runoff how does it save you money by installing the catch basin, you will no longer have flooding or pooling of areas of your yard. Put those catch basins in the low spot. This is picking up so much more water than the French drain. You do need the French drain as well. Let's talk about groundwater. So our pipe's down about 18, 20 inches. And do you remember all the groundwater we saw in this video? If we go deeper, yes, we can pull more water. You have to have a discharge. We talked about that, discharge to daylight. But more importantly, we don't want to go too deep because things in the yard will die. Sod will die. Those philodendron will die. Your landscaping. You need to have some water in the ground. When farmers drain their field, they lay their field tile at the proper depth, allowing one foot or more of a root system from each plant. If they take too much water out, those plants will really suffer. So it's the same thing in your yard. A French drain, a single pipe of French drain, will gather water from 15 to 20 feet on both sides. So if you look at this yard, you can see we just need a lateral every 30 feet. Putting four or five pipes into one trench does nothing. It grabs the same amount of water, 15 to 20 feet. But that catch basin is really needed in those low spots. You can see how low this area is here in the backyard. Catch basins solve problems. So one of the quick notes, people talk about how easy it is to dig in sand. You know, when sand is wet, it weighs two times, maybe three times what clay weighs. Be careful as you dig and as you backfill. This stuff is very heavy. Save your back. Always remember to bend your knees, things like that, all the things that you already know. But when you're backfilling, just backfill. You don't need to step on it, you just backfill. Okay, let me show you one more tip. You know, like I said, we show you so many things in our videos. Uh, no one even comes close to all the how-to tips, professional how-to tips on how to install all these rainwater drainage systems. NDS pop-up emitters. Here's a common problem and how to fix it. Another common problem that we find is that the pop-up, of course, when those downspouts, when it rains hard, all that roof water comes down and it pushes the pop-up off. It blows it off. In other words, it just pulls that whole piece right off the top. Simple solution. We're just going to put a set screw right down in here and hold that together. When you do this, of course, you've got to you know, open an area up to get your handy dandy drill down in there. So remember the secret is to get enough room that you can get down in here and drill. Stay close to the top, start your set screw, secure it, and that won't come off again. So NDS makes a great little pop-up, but it does pop off. <laughs> Just that simple. We'll go ahead and cover this up 
and that little project's done. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.